Okay, so I'm going to have to make another video because um, I was asked before if I can use one e-stop two thumbs for use. Uh, but someone asked if I can use MC connected to the uh, thumbs for you to use the same e-stop. So I'm going to show here how you can use bridge over three of them in a row. So you can see the e-stop is connected on the uh, MC right now. Uh, then I use it in the terminal. Uh, the terminal has the same signals on the bottom. You can see here it says the KLM. The two middle ones are ground. And the FSW for the force uh, of line switch. And you can see the thumbs for you. They have the same marking there. FSW, ground, and KLM on the pins. <coughs> so now um, I can uh, activate the stop, for example, for it will activate on all of them. Okay, let me release it. It's all of them will follow the instructions for a force of line or restop. So it's easy like this. Um, of course, um, I use the uh, same two points I have for the bridge, but uh, uh, you may want to cut the one end, so you can pass it through the metal enclosure, probably through here the little gap there is, because uh, otherwise, if you have metal enclosure, it's kind of airtight all around, hard to put wires in there. Uh, but you could do it from carefully from the top. Put the wires on the screws and then um, uh, screw the top lid back together if you want to do it like this otherwise you'll have to go through the rj45s speeders it's going to be kind of complicated uh, <coughs> because you uh, then uh, it's going to be setting also the signals for the leds which we don't really want to do that um, so you it's better to have um, uh, just the signals the actual stop signals shared, not the LED signals through the RJ45s. Um, but yeah, it's possible. You can have three devices here. You can keep on adding how I many you like. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching.